Man poisoned himself with destroying Angel by mistake. In July 2006, Richard Eshelman of Ithaca, NY, took a walk in the Upper Buttermilk State Park after work. After meditating in his usual spot, Eshelman picked up a few young mushrooms. He assumed that the mushrooms were inky caps, and held on to that assumption despite some pieces of evidence that should have clued him in. The first is that he saw a fully mature Amanita, or destroying angel mushroom nearby. Mushroom species tend to congregate in clusters. The second is that when he fried the mushrooms, they didn't release the black substance that characterizes inky caps. Feeling invincible and not wanting to trouble himself, he ate the mushrooms anyway. The next morning, he woke up vomiting and ended up driving himself to the emergency room. There, he drank activated charcoal, then was transferred to a hospital where he could receive a live transplant if necessary. Other than some mild kidney damage, Eshelman recovered fully after two weeks of illness. Eshelman was someone who knew enough about mushrooms to have avoided this fate if he'd taken the time to do so. He said, the mistake I made was just not taking the time to positively identify the mushrooms I had picked before ingesting them. He advises others to be more cautious than he was. A nursing home caretaker poisoned residents with mushroom soup. A senior care facility in Northern California was the site of four mushroom-related deaths in November 2012. The victims included 86-year-old Barbara Lopes, 73-year-old Teresa Olsnewix, 90-year-old Frank Warren Blodgett, and one unidentified person. The deaths were allegedly caused by a caretaker at the facility who used poisonous mushrooms in a soup made for residents. A police investigation concluded that the caretaker did not know that the mushrooms were poisonous and that the deaths were accidental. Students in an LA elementary school ate poisonous mushrooms out of a community garden. Community gardens can be a wonderful way to get kids learning about the natural world. Unfortunately, the kids at Silver Lake Elementary in Los Angeles, California learned a much harder lesson than anyone intended. In September 2016, an unidentified garden employee gave a group of fifth graders some mushrooms from the garden. Within 40 minutes of eating the mushrooms, the kids started vomiting. At least one child was sick enough to be hospitalized. Afterwards, the district's environmental safety team announced that they would investigate all gardens in the school district, and the garden at Silver Lake Elementary would be closed. A Connecticut woman accidentally poisoned her whole family. In October 2012, a Connecticut woman named Shawnor decided to make a dish for her family out of the mushrooms she found in her yard. While the dish itself was reportedly tasty, it contained Amanita by Sparagera, also known as the Destroying Angel. A few hours after dinner, Noor's husband and her younger daughter developed severe stomach pain and headed for the hospital. Noor and her older daughter followed soon afterward. Thankfully, everyone survived the ordeal, and everyone except the older daughter was released from the hospital swiftly. Mushroom poisoning is treatable. While mushroom poisoning can be extremely dangerous, even fatal, it is treatable. The exact treatment varies depending on what kind of poisonous mushroom. Here's how one of the most poisonous mushrooms the Amanita is dealt with. Patients are given Roman IV fluids, which prevent dehydration and help flush the toxins out of the system. 
They may also be given activated charcoal, which binds to the toxins and removes them from the body. In severe cases, an experimental drug called psilocybin may be administered by Roman IV. Penicillin was used in the past, but it is no longer considered effective against mushroom poisoning. In a worst-case scenario, the patient may need a liver or kidney transplant. Even experts can make mistakes. It's not just lay people who eat poisonous mushrooms. Even the most knowledgeable mushroom expert can make a mistake. Doctor Kent Olson, the co-medical director of the San Francisco Division of the California Poison Control System, told NPR, I've seen expert mycologists arguing good-naturedly about whether a mushroom they were looking at was the deadly one. At certain stages of development, the mushrooms can be confused. That being said, if you're not a mushroom expert, and you have even the slightest doubt about whether or not a mushroom is good to eat, you should probably leave it alone. There are some basic rules for identifying poisonous mushrooms. When it comes to identifying poisonous mushrooms, it's better to be safe than sorry. That's why one of the most important rules for identifying poison mushrooms is to avoid eating any mushrooms that you cannot identify with 100% certainty. What are the other rules? Wild Food UK says that it's important to avoid mushrooms with red caps or stems, and also mushrooms with white gills, the papery rib below the cap. While these rules of thumb do filter out some edible types, they also filter out potentially deadly fungi, including the deadly mushrooms belonging to the Amanita family. One should also compare any questionable mushrooms to a reputable guidebook. Following these rules does not guarantee that all mushrooms will be safe, but it does decrease risk. Mushroom poisoning can be deadly. The symptoms of mushroom poisoning vary depending on the type of mushroom. Some, like the green sport lepiota and the sulfur tuft mushroom, won't cause anything more serious than an upset stomach. Symptoms typically subside once the body successful rids itself of the meal. Some mushrooms contain the toxin muscarine, which can cause visual disturbances, excessive sweating and salivation, difficulty breathing, irregular heartbeat, and low blood pressure. Muscarine poisoning can be treated with a drug called atropine, and symptoms typically disappear within 24 hours. Some mushroom species have dramatic names like the death cap, and the destroying angel, and for good reason. They contain amanitin, a dangerous toxin that is the leading cause of mushroom-related deaths. Ingesting these mushrooms can cause symptoms that resemble a stomach virus, such as vomiting and diarrhea. After a 24-hour rest period during which many victims are mistakenly declared healthy serious symptoms such as liver and kidney failure, coma, and even death may occur. It's possible to recover with medication, but in some cases organ transplants are necessary. Victims of amenitin poisoning may also have organ damage for the rest of their lives. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and like and comment down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.